Hey guys, it's Andrea from the blog Pine and Prospect Home and today I want to share some simple thrifty spring dining room decorating ideas with you. Holy cow, that was a mouthful. So simple and thrifty ideas for your dining room, how you can get it ready for spring without having to spend a lot of money, just some really simple, easy decorating ideas that I kind of follow every, every time spring rolls around. Now before I begin, I just want to say that I would love to get your feedback on my dining room space. Um, if you've been following along here for a couple of months, you know that we switched out the buffet in our dining room. We went from this very bright painted piece, which I absolutely loved. It was a, a dresser that I found at a garage sale to something much darker. It's my grandfather's dresser. The lines are beautiful. The wood tone is stunning. We sanded it down. I bleached it to sort of lighten it up even more, but still something doesn't feel right in my dining room space. I don't know if it's because I have so much wood on both my dining room table and my buffet, or maybe it's just taking me some time to get used to because we've literally had that painted piece there for years. I'm talking like eight years. <laughs> and going from that to this dark wood has been an adjustment for me. So I'm not sure what it is. I, I have been staring at this space for too long, kind of holding off on sharing it with you because I thought maybe, maybe I need to paint the base of my table or maybe I need a different rug. <laughs> Anyways, you guys will have to let me know. After this video, please leave a comment and tell me if you think that it's too much wood happening or if you think that I should keep it as is and um, work with the pieces I have. So getting into these tips for you today, the very first thing that I would tell you to do when it comes to your dining room in the spring and summer season is to simplify, just scale back. You know, in the fall and winter, we add a lot of extra things as we decorate for the holidays. We pull up all those bins and add lots of greens and bells and um, ornaments. And I think for spring and summer, it's the time to just strip everything back and keep it simple, just simplify. I would go into your space and just take everything off all of your surfaces and just start from scratch and be very, very particular about what you add and ask yourself, do I absolutely love this when you bring it into the space? It's always tempting to want to throw in so many different knickknacks and feel like every surface needs to be covered, but this is something that I really want to encourage you guys with. Try simplifying and scaling back and just focusing on maybe one larger centerpiece on your table, one focal point on your buffet area, rather than all of these little knickknacks. So that's my first tip for you today when you're decorating for spring. And of course, it's going to be super thrifty because you're not spending extra on all these little things. <laughs> um, you can kind of scale back and, and just simplify. I've probably used that word way too many times with this first point, and I apologize. <laughs> the second tip that I have for you for thrifty, simple spring decorating ideas is to get outside smell the fresh air, listen to the birds, feel the sunshine, and clip some fresh branches or flowers. Um, my lilacs haven't bloomed yet here in Michigan. We're in zone six. They're almost there. They're so close, and I'm so excited to clip lilacs and just fill my whole house with lilacs. Uh, you'll have to watch my lilac cottage tour from last year when I brought so many into my home. It was just amazing. They don't last long, sadly, but I love lilac season. In the meantime, all of the fruit trees in our area, the apples and the pears are all blooming. Uh, our beautiful redbud tree is this br bright, beautiful, purpley pink color. And, you know, I was on a walk with my boys this morning just looking at all of the beauty. And my sister, my sweet sister, texted me and said, hey, you should clip some of my branches from my apple tree in our backyard. Um, <laughs> I, I asked her, I said, are you sure? And honestly, they think that that tree is a nuisance because it's so hard to mow around. And she was like, seriously, take as much as you want. So 
I grabbed some clippers, I went on a walk with my boys and we just clipped a bunch of stems and brought them in our space and it just makes your home come to life. Um, I just love going outside and bringing the outside in. I'm a huge proponent of faux flowers. <laughs> Believe me, I have a whole video about them. Um, I think that it's a good investment because you can use them for uh, weeks and weeks, especially when you're ready to decorate for spring, but you don't quite have any <laughs> greens outside the clip yet, uh, like we do here in Michigan uh, in the early spring. But once things do begin to warm up, once you do have the opportunity to get outside, look for ways that you can bring the outside in. Cut some fresh florals, um, especially if you have them available for free. Purchasing them at the grocery store, yes, that can be expensive when you do it week after week. But if you can get some in your area from a neighbor, a kind friend who has some trees or blooming uh, bushes in their yard, take advantage of that. It just, uh, I don't know, it's just really special and there's just something about real fresh branches and florals in your home that make it come to life. So that's my second tip for you for thrifty spring decorating. My third tip for you when you're decorating for spring in your dining space and you're looking to save some money is uh, sort of, it, it goes along a little bit with the first point when I say simplify, but I really love to use just white dishes in the spring and summer. Um, I know it's a lot of fun in the fall to bring out like amber colors, um, I, I even have, of course, I still leave my blue and white dishes on my dining room shelves, but in my corner cabinet, I've just simplified it all the way back to just nothing but my white false graph. If you're not sure what that is, I have a whole video all about it that I will link so you can go check it out. And I've collected some beautiful pieces uh, from thrift stores, antique shops, and from some of you guys. <laughs> you guys have sent me some beautiful false graph pieces. I can't thank you enough. Just the sweetest thing in the world. But just incorporating white, bright, clean dishes into your space. I have some sitting on my buffet. Um, just a beautiful false graph pitcher with some fresh blossoms, some white plates stacked next to it. Um, my shelves, of course, are filled with white dishes and, and uh, glass dishes. Um, and then, like I said, my dining room corner cabinet is filled with all white. There's something about the clean, fresh uh, look of all white dishes. It's like a fresh slate, a clean slate, I should say. And a really special piece on my dining room table is actually this large ironstone platter that was my grandfather's. And I just have some flowers kind of sitting on top of that platter. And it's really special to me because of course it was his. And um, if you're new here, he passed away recently, just last fall. So anytime I can incorporate any of his things into my decor, it's always really special. So just to recap really quick, when you're looking to decorate your dining room for spring, I want you to think about simplifying, just clear everything out of the room and scale back. Number two, try to bring in the outside, cut some fresh flowers, um, look for blooming bushes and trees. Number three, I love to incorporate white as much as possible, white dishes. There's something about them in the spring and summer that are just absolutely beautiful. They have that classic cottage style. I feel like you can't go wrong with white. You can't mess up with white. I mean, it is timeless, classic, beautiful, <laughs> and it just looks so pretty this time of year um, as we enter into these warmer months. I don't know about you guys, but when I think about spring and summer, I think about my kids eating a slice of watermelon and just dripping juice all over the place. And the cleaner and more empty I can keep my table, <laughs> the easier it is for me to wipe up. And um, I don't know, I just like to keep things really simple this time of year. Um, so a few more things real quick. I, I told you guys to let me know in the comments how you feel about the wood on wood, uh, what your thoughts are. Do you think I should paint the base of my table? Um, another thing that I think I'm gonna change, I'm not sure yet, but that little dresser, that $15 thrift store dresser that sits right off of our kitchen. Um, it is perfect. It holds all of my like linens, uh, tablecloths, napkins, I'm not so sure I love the green anymore. 
<laughs> that was something that I painted on a whim last fall. I thought, oh, I have this green paint, I'm gonna see how it looks. I look back at older photos of when it was a dark gray, and I'm sort of leaning towards just painting it back gray. So that's another thought, and I know so many of you loved the green. Um, green is a really popular color right now. Dark green is trending. <laughs> oh my goodness, I feel like so many people are putting in dark green kitchens and cabinetry, and I think it's beautiful, and I think that's kind of why I went in that direction, because I was seeing it everywhere and I really loved it. But um, in my home, I'm feeling like I liked the gray more. You guys will have to let me know what you think about that. But I hope these ideas were a help to you today. I know they're very simple, and uh, I guess I just want to encourage you, don't ever overthink your decor. Sometimes keeping it simple is the best way to go. So I want to know in the comments below, what do you guys like to do when you decorate for spring in your dining room? Do you like to add a lot of extra things? Do you like to keep it simple like I do? What are some ideas that you guys have for me? I'd love to hear. I love engaging with you guys in the comments. Um, I can't always answer every single comment because sometimes there are so many, that's all I would be doing every single day. But let me just tell you, I do try to at least read them. And uh, I hate just to give you a little heart and like love all the comments because sometimes it feels like you took the time to leave a comment for me and I should be taking the time to reply to you. So I hate to do that, but sometimes that's what I'll do even, just go through, let you know that I saw it and that I appreciate you and I love you guys. But um, let me know what you guys like to do in your dining space for spring and how you keep it really simple and thrifty. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.